We rely on it and relish in its special deliveries. But these U.S. Postal Service parcels, as I pull into the car wash, didn't quite reach their destination. I see it's a bunch of mail. Early Monday morning, Dennis Harden did a double take when pulling into the car wash at the 7-Eleven off Carowinds Boulevard. I'm looking around. I said, where's the camera? I said, I know this is a joke. This is not somebody's mail sitting on the ground. Harden quickly snapped these pictures of the nearly 100 pieces of U.S. mail. From packages to postcards, he said it was all there, scattered across the car wash floor. So I see different people's mail. I see Christmas packages and it's all soaking wet. Of course, it is a federal offense to tamper with U.S. mail, but Harden says he couldn't just leave it, so he picked up the crate. Up. It was extremely heavy. And drove it to the post office off Albemarle Road near his house. They weren't open yet, so he knocked on the door. They say leave it at the door. I left it there. Anybody else could have walked in after me, picked it up and took it. Harden she says he wasn't the given the chance to the even explain where it came from. So they just really didn't care. That's what came across to me. The Postal Service declined to comment on any ongoing investigation, but did say two agencies, the Postal Inspection Service and the Office of the Inspector General, use law enforcement personnel to police employee and non-employee behavior concerning these important safeguards. Both agencies were made aware of the mail in question. <laughs> Harden still doesn't know if this mail has reached its boxes, but he wishes their carriers would be more careful. We're depending on this company to deliver our mail, and somebody just left it in a car wash.